Uh, don't look at my bottom. Don't look at my bottom. Greetings programs, Atari here, you there, and if you love goofing around the shop, building goofy projects, learning about electronics, and celebrating retro technology, then go ahead and click that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell notification icon so you will probably, at least, maybe, possibly see more of these videos in the future if YouTube decides that it's worth you seeing for whatever reason. Anyway, let's get on with this review video. So this is the FUBOT air quality monitor. Now this was shipped to me to test out and review. It was also actually sent as part of another review that we'll get to a little bit later. But of course I needed something to monitor the quality of the air. Uh, so they sent me this little guy right here and I'm right on like the edge of like what's good and what's bad air right now because I, I haven't started my, uh, my air cleaner yet. So it's picking up a lot of the carbon dioxide that's coming out of my lungs as I'm talking like right at it. And so it's just like, oh, hi, let's, <laughs> there's carbon dioxide here and that might be a problem for you. So it's a little bit sensitive, but uh, we're gonna test this guy out, put it through its paces and see exactly how well it works in an industrial environment such as this. But first I have to magically rewind everything and unbox this thing so you can see exactly how it comes. Yeah. Okay, so let's get her open here. Okay, and that just slides off there. This Fubot likes you already. Oh, isn't that sweet? Look at that. Let's see. A nice quick start guide that's integrated into the box. That's clever. I like that. That's cute. I'm digging it. So do notice uh, that there is a warm up and self calibration phase. Try to keep the device continually powered and connected during that time. So, so that's uh, that's it. So that's the guy right there. He's uh, about the size of a like a like a Monster Energy drink kind of can. Engineered in Luxembourg and assembled in China. Um, it looks like it's engineered in California, but that's okay. Uh, so we got some vents over here on this side. This, I assume, is our LED behind here. So a nice, like, diffuse glow. Uh, power cord is integrated already, and it is USB. Uh, and then we have a little dealy down there, some vents on the top and the bottom. So that's pretty much it. And we've got a uh, USB uh, switching power adapter here. Uh, it is five volts and one amp. Oh, here's some, here's some other thingies in the box. Here's the quick start guide. Uh, la, 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 la. So we'll check that out in a minute. And then of course our user's manual because nobody needs that. So let's get her uh, plugged in and set up and we'll see, we'll see just exactly how bad the air quality is in here. Setting up the FUBOT is rather simple, but you are going to need an iOS or an Android device to do so with its associated app. And of course, you're going to need to sign up for an account so that they can mine your, I, I mean, uh, uh, keep track of the uh, data points for you and alert you to uh, things going on in your environment. Now, once you got your account set up, then you just tap add a FUBOT and your app will guide you through the process of connecting to your Wi-Fi. All right, now we've got that set up, so we just need to wait a week for it to calibrate. And in the meantime, let's take a look at a few features. Fubot is a small device that uses four different sensors to determine air quality in a variety of ways. The device can detect and measure particulate matter down to 2.5 micrometers at a range of up to 300 micrograms per cubic meter with a precision of plus or minus 20%. Not too terribly bad. Fubot also uses automotive industry-grade MOS sensor technology to determine VOC levels, in particular formaldehyde, isobutane, choline, methane, ammonia, and benzene, at a precision of plus or minus 10%. And of course, the Fubot combines this with a typical temperature and humidity sensor module to get a robust picture of the total air quality. In addition to the low latency detection and on-demand measurements, the FUBOT also comes equipped with a colored LED light so that you can know the relative quality of air at a glance. Four to six days later. So I've had my little break-in period for the FUBOT here, and uh, you can see that the air quality is not great here in the shop. Now, we have been doing some welding. I have been spraying some hairspray. Uh, for my 3D printer 
and a whole myriad of other things going on in here. So it has spiked a little bit and we can check that out here on the FUBOT app. You can see that it assigns a, a numerical score based on the volatile compounds or the carbon dioxide and the particulate matter are all combined uh, with the humidity and temperature assigns a numerical score and gives this thing basically a uh, blue, an orange, or a purple, uh, depending on the air quality. Now, uh, just a few minutes ago, this thing has been uh, kind of um, changing in real time uh, over the past hour or so. Uh, the carbon dioxide's going up because I'm breathing at it, which is actually kind of funny. But, uh, so it has been fluctuating a little bit over the past hour or so. It has gone down significantly. It was at a 100. Now it's down to right around a 55 to 57, which is still not great, um, but it's definitely not a blue light yet. And uh, hopefully with my new air cleaner that you can probably watch that review up here in the corner. With that, that shall improve the air quality in the shop significantly, at least I hope. So check that out. In the meantime, check out pictures of all my stuff at The Airborne Surfer on Instagram or catch up with me and we'll chat on Twitter at Airborne Surfer. Uh, here's a video that YouTube thinks you'll probably enjoy. Subscribe somewhere and check out the show notes. Get all the information about this guy and all the other things that I've got going on here at the channel and around the shop. Until next time, my name is Atari and until then, tally ho y'all.